Hey guys, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to turn on your FaceTime. So you can FaceTime people and you can call them up. Um, instead of just going to this icon right here, we're actually going to go into settings and set everything up from there. It's just uh, easier and more accurate and you can fix some stuff that may it's maybe not working with your FaceTime at the time. So we're going to go into settings, we're going to scroll down until we see FaceTime. So here's FaceTime, we're going to go in there. Okay, so on FaceTime people can reach you throughout your phone number and uh, iCloud and emails, okay? So make sure your Apple ID is on. Make sure this is green, the first part here. It has to be green, that way you turn it on. So if it's not green, if it's white, just move the little circle to the side just by tapping on it, moving with your finger, and you're gonna see that it's green, okay? Then you turn it on. So it's gonna take a little bit for turn turn on, wait for that activation. Now it's gonna turn on with your Apple ID, so make sure to put your password in. If you don't have an Apple ID, this is the time to get it, okay? So set up, create an Apple ID. You need that for your iCloud and everything else. iCloud's very important to have. Anyways, um, next, you're gonna go down. So besides your phone number, make sure to add two emails, okay? At least two emails. Gmail doesn't always work, okay? So I wouldn't, if Gmail's not working for you, just try another email. Uh, it's not that compatible. It's compatible at times, at times not, so I don't really use Gmail into this account. Anyways, guys, besides that, for sure you want to have those two emails, just in case people can't contact you with your phone number, for some reason it's not working for your phone number, it's going to go through your Apple ID or your two other emails, okay, the way that they can contact you to FaceTime, okay. Um, same thing, if for some reason FaceTime is not working with you and another person, just edit in their contact information, don't just have their phone number, but edit their uh, email, and that way you're going to see that FaceTime will work again for you. Okay, um, same thing for the other person, if they can't reach you through FaceTime, just uh, tell them to edit your email, just put in two more emails or something, and you're going to see that it works once again, okay? So anyways, that's it for this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and rate, and any questions, comments, errors, just uh, leave your comments right here below, and don't forget to subscribe and rate, thank you.